Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to trade commodities on E-Trade in 2024. So today we're going to explore the trading section of commodities on E-Trade. E-Trade, of course, offers a robust platform for trading various assets, including commodities like gold, silver, oil, and even more. So join me as we navigate the steps to start trading commodities on E-Trade. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open your eTrade account. To do so, you'll need a browser. So for me, I'm using here Brave. For you, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. So just go to the CRL section. Of course, you can type eTrade.com. Sorry, you have to add an US before, so us.etrade.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of eTrade right away. So if you have an account, of course, you will have to go to the top right corner, click on login to log in into your account, as simple as that. And you'll have to enter your ID, password, and click on login. But if you don't have an account, instead, just go back and click on open account here or here at the top right corner or even get started, will take you to the same place. So just click on open account, and as you can see here, you will have to choose which account you want, or you can even choose all the options. What you will need for trading commodities is a brokerage account, which will let you invest and trade with the ability to buy and sell stocks, ETFs, and mutual funds, options, bonds, and more. So check the brokerage account, and here go and click on continue. As you can see, they are telling me that you are unable to process your application at this time. Please reach out uh, as this chat for resolution. So maybe they have a problem at the moment. So for you, if you have an account, just go log in. If you don't, click on open accounts and you can follow the steps by your own at a specific time. Maybe they are not like available at the moment. So they will not be able to open an account for me. Uh, ATM, example, let me just go and try again. Yeah. So for you, of course, if it's work, just go and fill up the... So here, what I will need to do, of course, to show you how exactly you are going to uh, trade, of course, or just through some articles. But of course, uh, what you'll need to do once you open your account is simply verify your account if they require any ID verification. And then you will have to fund your E-Trade account, then access the commodities section and research the commodities that you are trying to invest on. And then you will be able to start placing your trades. As an example here, if you go to investment choice, you'll find stocks, options, mutual funds, ETFs, futures, bonds and CDs, uh, rebuilt portfolios, APO and new issues. So of course, we'll need to click on futures in here. As you can see, you'll be able to trade on it on the platforms that they offer. So if we go here and click on view all platforms that they offer by E-Trade, so they offer an E-Trade web, uh, of course, platform and an E-Trade app for your phone. And as you can see, this is for active and advanced traders, more power, more position. They have other platforms for aspiring and experienced investors inside ideas and inspiration. And yeah, as you can see, so they have the web and the app for that also. So depending on whatever you want, of course, you will have or whatever you are, you will have to go and access the web that they offer you. So as we said, example, so I'll just go here and type trade commodities. So commodities on e trade as an example and here and that's also so as an example here concerning on commodities so when people think of investment they usually think of buying stocks and bonds but if an investor is looking for more a diversification investing in commodities may provide an answer raw materials such as oil and gas wheat and cattle and or even gold and silver are commodities that generally have relatively low correlation to stock and bound investments in addition they have historically provided a hedge against inflation an investor who devotes a certain percentage of their assets to these basic goods could be enhancing their overall portfolio in more ways than one. So the ATFs shown below investment almost exclusively in commodities. So as you can see, what do we have in here? So we have, as an example, the full name and the symbol. So we have this, we have this one. As you can see, we have like a a good amount of commodities here. So as an example, let's say that we want to buy, I don't know, maybe United States Brent Oil Fund. So as an example, we want to buy this one. So I'll just go here and click on buy. Of course, if I'm already logged in, they'll not ask me to log in. They will just take me where uh, 
where I should be able to buy right away. So for me, I click on buy, they take me here, but for you, they will take you to another place where you can place your commodity trade. You will have just to, uh, of course, enter the quantity and review the current price and choose your order type. Is it a market or limit? And of course, once your trade is executed, you can monitor it closely and keep an eye on commodities prices, market news, and any events that may impact the commodities markets. And E-Trade platform, of course, provides a real-time market data and order status updates. But before, of course, entering or buying or placing a trade on any commodities, before placing any trades, conduct through research on the commodities that you are interested in try and trade in as an example. Analyze factors such as supply and demand, uh, dynamics, uh, geopolitical events, economic and, uh, and economic indicators, for example, and even commodity price trends. These uh, factors uh, are very, very, very important and will vary or will uh, affect the price of uh, the market price, of course, of the commodity that you want. So make your own research carefully and then you can place your trade because trading and commodities trading and trading in general is not luck or it's not like gambling gambling is not good for you so make sure not to do it so that's not good luck of course it's a skill that you will need to acquire through experience through uh, maybe articles through uh, youtube videos and you can of course uh, see or do the research about it or about uh, about of course the commodities that you want to buy or even sell if you're trying to sell and then you will be able to start now you'll be able then you should actually go and start your trades not just go by luck and hope it will goes up to sell it with profits because your money could be lost so keep that in mind so of course as your commodity like trades progresses you can consider implementing risk Risk management strategies you can set some stop loss orders to limit potential losses and take profits orders to look in profits if the market moves in your favor and when you're ready to exit your commodities trade you can use the e-trade platform to close your position and review your trade performance and ensure objectives that have been met before closing the trade so i guess that's gonna be it for me today of course, for you, you've learned how to trade commodities on E-Trade in 2024. Remember to stay informed, practice risk management, and continuously monitor the market's conditions. With diligence and strategies, commodities trading can be a rewarding endeavor for you. So if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.